It's my property. I paid for it. Yeah, I had to try and do something. What? You just crept into my room and broke into my jewellery box. And I think I was vindicated. I am not a kid anymore. Do I not have a right for privacy? No, not under my roof. Well, fine then. That makes my decision easier. I'll move out. That's not the solution, is it? But I can't live with you anymore. I can't be around you. You criticise me, you judge me, and now, what, you just go through my things? I feel like you hate me. That's not true. OK, well, tell me the last time that you said something nice to me. Maybe I don't tell you enough. All right, but I tell Jane and Denise, you're the best thing I ever did. I tell them all the time. I mean, just ask them. Lucy, I can't believe I made you. Right, you're beautiful, you're clever, you're independent. I mean, maybe that's why I push you so hard, because I, I know what you can be. And you're the one who kept this family together when I was on the streets. Right, and that's not forgotten. Come here, come here. <laughs> Such a mess. No, hey, come on. You're not a mess. Right, it's me, all right? I'm the idiot, OK? I mean, look, look at me this morning. Right? I was so embarrassed. Really? Yeah. <laughs> all I could do was talk about cushions. You see, I love you, OK? I mean, Peter, he's a good lad, he does what he's told. He'll, he'll work in the market and on the stall and maybe one day the calf, but... You and me together, I mean... We could take this family on. I mean, we're special. What? But, all right, um, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is... You're the one. I mean, you always have been the one. Do you want to know why I take coke? It is to block out whatever thoughtless thing you said to me last. <laughs> 